As an online entrepreneur, you probably heard that blogging is a really great way to get customers. But how does that work exactly? How do you get people from visiting your blog to actually becoming customers? Well, in this video, I'll cover the two most important principles that you need to understand in order to make that a reality. Hi, I'm Hannah from Thrive Teams. If you've been blogging for a while, but people are not lining up to buy your product or services, then you might make a mistake against this first principle. And that is to pick the right content for your business. Now, this is very important because each piece of content has a certain intent behind it when people read or search for that topic. And what works for one business might not work for another business. Even if you write a really good blog post or even if you manage to get your blog post to rank highly on search engines, it might not translate into customers. So then how does this work? Well, it's easier to explain with an example. So let's have a look at three different websites that all have three very, very similar blog posts around the same topic. And that topic is a Facebook cover images. So when somebody looks for Facebook cover dimensions, then you will see these websites on the first page of Google. Now, this first blog post, best size for Facebook cover photos in 2021, is from a marketing agency. The second post, how to size and design your Facebook cover photo or video, is from HubSpot. So HubSpot is a customer relationship management tool. And then we have the perfect Facebook cover photo size and best practices. That is from Snappa. And Snappa is an online image editing tool. These three businesses all decided to write an article about the size of Facebook images. And all three of them managed to get this article ranked. But which one do you think gets the most customers out of this article? Let me repeat. We have a marketing agency, we have a customer relationship management tool, and then we have an online photo editing tool. If you think about the person who's searching for Facebook cover dimensions, in which state of mind are they at that point? They are probably trying to create their image for their Facebook page. So Snappa, for example, has the specific templates and you can actually use their tool online to create this specific cover image for Facebook. It makes it easy to do and so the, the way to go from an article looking up sizes to actually trying the tool is a very short jump. That's why I believe that this blog post will convert much higher for an image, image editing tool than it will for the marketing agency, for example. Because somebody who's looking for the right size for a Facebook cover image is doing it themselves. They are trying to figure it out, which is a fairly big leap to actually going to hire an agency, right? And then when we think about the CRM tool, Yes, they are probably targeting small businesses. So somebody who's looking for a Facebook cover image uh, probably has a Facebook page. So is a small image. So they are HubSpot. They, they are targeting the customers that might use their tool. But then they are doing something that is actually pretty smart because they know that there is a big jump from looking up these sizes to actually becoming client for their customer relationship management tool. And that is exactly the second principle. So what HubSpot is doing here is when you um, scroll down, you can see that they are advertising free templates for the Facebook cover photos for businesses. So rather than thinking that people will come to this article and then immediately sign up for the customer relationship management tool, they have this freebie that is very, very targeted to this specific topic. And when you click on this, you go to a landing page where you can get the templates when you sign up to their list and give quite a bit of information about your business.
And so that is the second principle in creating blog posts that converts. The first one, like I said, is making sure that you pick the right topic with the right intent for your business. And then the second one is to make sure that you have the right call to action attached to your blog post. Studies have shown that now you need something like 11 touch points in order for someone to trust you and to actually become a customer. So in order to get those touch points, you want to get their contact information, just like HubSpot is trying to do on this blog post. Another really good example of this is what Expert Photography is doing on their ultimate guide to landscape photography. When you start scrolling down on this blog post, you'll see that the very first call to action that pops up immediately when going to this blog post is this lead generation call to action that offers you a free video training to take stunning landscape photos. So how closely related do you think that the ultimate guide to taking landscape photos is to a free video training for landscape photos? Really, really close, right? So in this case, it really is matching your lead generation intent with the intent of the blog post. But that doesn't mean that you can't also have call to actions for your products because somebody might already be on your list or somebody might just be ready to buy from you. So when here, when we say no thanks, you can see that within the guide, we actually have these call to actions for their online course about stunning landscapes. So there is a primary call to action that is a lead generation, and then there is the secondary call to action that is becoming a customer. Now, luckily for you, this is really, really easy to do with a Thrive Suite because with Thrive Leads, you can create these very specific lead generation forms. So when you are in Thrive Leads, you can use the targeting, the display settings to set your forms so that they only show on certain categories or they only show even on specific blog posts. So this really allows you to have that super close match between the intent of the blog post and then the opt-in form or the opt-in offer that you are showing to people. And then with Thrive Architect, you can use blocks to add a call to action to your blog post. So simply click on elements, block, drag it on your page, Choose the call to action block, pick one that you like, and then you can customize this block. You can, for example, change the images, change the text, and then simply link up the button to your sales page. Once you're happy with your blog, you can also save it as a content template so that you can easily reuse it. And if you use a symbol, this means that these different templates will be linked. And so then when you change something on the symbol, it will automatically change it in every instance where you used this symbol. These are the two principles that you need to keep in mind if you want to convert visitors from your blog into paying customers. First of all, the intent of when people are reading your blog post and making sure that that matches very close to what your customers are looking for and then matching the call to action to the specific blog post. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate, leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you are an online entrepreneur, hit subscribe, click that bell so that you're notified when we publish new videos.